in the middle of gator mating season. And scenes like these, they're the norm across Florida. These are stories that we've covered in just the past month. Alligator counter encounters in Collier County, Fort Myers and Venice. And all the cases, Florida Fish and Wildlife came to wrangle these gators away. But what happens when they're hauled off? Wait News reporter Liz Byro is live at the Calusa Nature Center in Planetarian. And Liz, we're often told in these cases that the gators are taken to an animal sanctuary. Is that true? Yeah, Lois, it can be, but more likely than not, those animals end up dead. But one professor told me there is something that we do that actually seals those animals' fate before a trapper is even called. In front of his students, in a white button down and a tie, and in the name of science. Get him? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's how FGCU professor Wynn Everham catches a gator. So we had permits from FWC. We captured alligators, we put radios on them when we tracked them. After the gator is caught and tracker is on, it's released. But what about this one, found in a Venice home and hauled off? Or this one, waiting at the front door of a home in Fort Myers, oh my God, oh my God. and dragged away after giving the homeowners quite a fright? Or this one, caught after attacking a man in Naples? Where do they go? In short, nuggets or wallets. FWC sent me this statement saying when a contracted nuisance alligator trapper removes an alligator, it becomes the property of the trapper. In most cases, the alligator is processed for its hide and meat, which is the primary source of compensation for their services. Occasionally, a nuisance alligator is sold alive to an alligator farm, animal exhibit or zoo. Phrase that a lot of people use um, if, if they're fed, they're dead, you know, to try to get people to understand that when you feed an alligator, it overcomes its natural fear of humans. When they aren't scared is when they approach. After that, Everham says wranglers don't have much of a choice. You're not gonna move it somewhere it can threaten more people. The good thing is gator populations are in a good place. The people that do the alligator capture has to have to be able to make money. So so I understand that, that um, we we're creating economic incentives for them to be able to do that. And the message is don't feed these guys and keep your small dogs away from the edge of the water because if you don't, you may be sealing their fate or yours. At the Clusa Nature Center, Liz Byro, Wink News.